Good afternoon, everybody. At least it's a good afternoon for me. Uh, oops, sorry for the glare there. Um, I am recording this video the day before you're seeing it, so you guys will be seeing it on the. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. You guys will be seeing it tomorrow, so. Um, which is actually today for you guys, so, anyways. I'm just going to, this is the last video, I'm going to go over everything for anybody that new that joins, and then I'm going to start just making new content for the people that are already here, and then people that say join, and I'll make a video like every week or so, updating everybody when anything changes. So, I'm just going to go over everything that I have going on right now, and, uh, yeah, so let's get to it. So, this is actually the terrarium he is in right now, um... I'm thinking about making it permanent, but obviously the temporary things are in there right now. He really doesn't need the shells or that cottage cheese dish in there. He really needs a better hide, and he needs an actual water dish. But that's just the bottom of a plastic cup, because that's what happens when you have, like, last-minute things you have to do. So, anyways, this is his water. It's just a water bottle, pretty obvious. I mean, what else do you expect? There's a thermometer in there, and I don't need that until I put him in his actual terrarium, so we'll get that out of there. Um, gosh, I forgot to clean this off again. Gosh, sorry. Um, these crickets are still alive, which kind of surprised me, but I have some crickets in here with a piece of potato and celery. Um, I want to make sure that the celery gives them water, and uh, actually I'm thinking about releasing them even though it's winter where I'm at, which makes sense because it is February. So unless you live in California or Florida, that's just common sense. Or Texas or something like that. What are you doing, bud? He's like, I'm eating. Can you stop watching me? I really don't think he can really see very well, which I should probably know that since this is kind of like a informative video, sort of, sort of, most of them are informative, kind of, anyways, um, but obviously he has a mealworm in his mouth, and here's the mealworms, and that green thing is a piece of celery, which they tore up last night, um, I'm still very confused as to why he looks like he's wet, oh yeah, he just dumped himself into the water dish, but, um, I'm gonna try not to scare him at all, um, this substrate is a mixture of substrate, it is coconut fiber, and... Man, I always forget to look at things after my old videos. Maybe somebody should tell me to do that in every single video, so I don't remember. But, um, yeah, there's normal substrate, nothing really to it. I'm keeping it damp, because he is a, I guess you could say, tropical scorpion, compared to the ones you'd find in Africa and uh, dry climates of that sort. So I, his terrarium is a lot different than you'd see out of like the more, I don't know what you'd call it, drier climated scorpions that are out there that some people might have. This guy is a lot different than them. But um, you can see the shells are from my old hermit crabs, blah blah, artificial plants for um, hiding a little bit. I um, already showed you the food, he's in this little thing, and this is water. But today's video, I actually caught him eat. oh, look, let's get that mouth action. Let's try to get, try, I'll try to get you guys focused in on that mouth. Sorry if the camera's not very good. Oh yeah, see that? He's pouring juices into that bug and pulling the bug into his mouth at the same time. Let you guys look at that for a second. The mealworm is actually still alive. I don't know if you guys can see, but his arms and his mouth are still moving a little bit because he usually eats them head first. So the fact that he did this today was really uh, bizarre to me. And he, in case anybody wants to know, he is poisonous, obviously. Had to sign a waiver at PetSmart saying that I knew he was. And um, yeah, but he never uses that tail. For to kill his prey that he's eating right now because why would you use it on a mealworm that can't do any damage like that makes no sense 
So he just picks it up and puts it in his mouth. Oh, there he is. He's moving. But um, this is here. I'm just going to throw a couple more facts at everybody. He has hairs all over his body. I don't know if you can see him in the reflection on the tail. But he uses those to sense things. And I would like in, I don't know if I did in an old video or not. I would normally kind of just blow a little breeze over him so you guys could see that. But I don't want to stress him out while he is, excuse me, feeding. Um, so I'm not going to be doing that today. But you can see he's eaten two millworms in the last 48 hours. He has gotten pretty thick. So he's definitely eating. And in case anybody was wondering how they use the bathroom, that is where. It's nothing like us or dogs or your cat. It's a lot different. But I'm not going to go into that because it's kind of nasty. So, that's where he uses the bathroom. Um, and in case anybody wants to get a scorpion like me, this is like the perfect little thing for him, for a scorpion at first. And I believe my scorpion is a male because I believe he has the male parts of a scorpion on his belly. And I haven't really looked at it because he's only been with me for about three days now, three, four days now. I think it'll be, let's see, Friday. I got him Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'll have him for four days at around 10 o'clock. I'll have him for four days. And he, I think he's probably gotten bigger. His arms have gotten a lot thicker um, than what they were when I got him from PetSmart. Um, by the way, in case anybody's wondering, PetSmart is the way to go. That's the really good pet store. I'm not sponsored by them, obviously, because I am a very small YouTube channel right now. But I, if I ever do get big on things like this, I plan on buying more scorpions, um, getting other things to put on this channel besides just this one scorpion. But I have to get something built up at first. So that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I had 26... 27 views of my very first video and I only have six subscribers so that means like 60 to 70 percent of you just looked at the video and turned off of it but you need to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can come back every time I post a video which will be every single day I'm going to post every single day I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers before my birthday which is March 21st so if that happened I would be ecstatic I'd be very very happy um, I'd appreciate everything that you guys could do. Um, here, he's trying to climb up into his little safe zone. Look at that mealworm still moving. That's just crazy. But, um, yeah, I don't know why he seems to be so desperate to get up there. Um, sorry if the quality of the camera isn't very good. I'm using my Samsung, which explains everything. I broke my iPhone, so that's why. But uh, this is just temporary. Everything's temporary pretty much. I'm going to start moving up a little bit as everything builds up, like I just said. So subscribe if you want everything to build up faster. And then that will happen. Look at that power of that bug. Wow. There's no grip on that plastic and he just climbed right up it. Wow, look at that. With a bug in his mouth. With a worm in his mouth. No grip. No grip at all. Wow, that is just awesome. There's a good look at his body. Sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. I don't know why I'm shaking. But um, he's going back into the hide. Uh, thanks for anybody that came and watched the video today. Um, this will be coming out tomorrow. So uh, like and subscribe. Don't forget to do that. And turn on that notification bell. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.